If you haven't subscribed yet, what you waiting on? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and be part of this amazing community right here on Lady Opulent. In today's video, we are going to be making one of my favorite desserts, and that is chocolate covered strawberries. And if you're wondering why is Lady O all dressed up just to make chocolate covered strawberries, why is she all dolled up? Ooh, I just got back from running my errands. You gotta look good, honey. Every time you step out the house, it doesn't matter where you're going because you just never know who you might run into. And that's my motto. Never leave the house without taking a shower. Never leave the house looking like a hot mess. Never leave the house without looking presentable. You are your own brand. So, how's everyone doing today? You guys doing good? Let me know down below in the comment section as we walk to my dining room table. It's like I was telling you, you guys in my previous videos that I have a very small kitchen so I do everything on my dining room table and that's where we're going to be preparing for our chocolate covered strawberries. Stay tuned, it's going to be a great show. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. First thing you're going to need is a pound of fresh strawberries. I got these from Schnucks. And how's about when I got to Walmart, they had the exact same quality an exact same quantity for a much cheaper price. I was kind of mad at myself, but I got those too. <laughs> so for the chocolate covered strawberry, I will be using this chocolate that I got from Walmart. I told you Lady O is on a budget these days. So anyways, this is the chocolate that I'm gonna use. If there's a way that I can put it on my stove and heat it up instead of putting it in the microwave, that would be great. I'm obviously not going to use all of it because I am not trying to make as many chocolate covered strawberries. Okay, I'm also going to be using this parchment paper to put on this baking pan. Not that I'm going to be baking them. I just needed something that's flat. You guys will see when it comes together. You'll see what I'm talking about. You're going to need some toothpicks. This is how I'm going to be dipping my strawberries inside the chocolate for the chocolate covered strawberries in order for me not to touch them I'm gonna have to use my toothpicks you're gonna need some paper towels to dry the strawberries you want them completely dry so that the chocolate doesn't fall off when I start dipping them or it doesn't crack when it dries up all right you guys as much as I was saying I'm gonna try and put this on the stove I'm not sure how that's gonna work for this first attempt, I'm just going to go ahead and put this chocolate in the microwave. I don't like using my microwave because we all know that the microwave is bad for you. I do my best not to use the microwave. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. Just pour it in my favorite cup. Half, half a cup like I was saying earlier that I'm not going to melt all this chocolate. I believe these are what uh, you use when you try to make chocolate chip cookies. I've never used these before. I'm actually experimenting, you guys, because I've never done this. I just did my little bit of research on how to do it. I realized it's not hard to make my favorite desserts, or one of my favorite desserts. That should be fine. That's half. And no, I was not going to be using that measuring cup. It just gets too technical. So initially, I wasn't going to do this. I had seen other YouTubers add coconut oil or olive oil. First, I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. But because it's my first time doing it, I went ahead and went to one of my cupboards and I found this coconut oil, which is very liquidy, by the way, because it's very hot these days. I had to make sure that it was okay for me to use it. And you see there it says gluten-free, it's for beauty and health, and it says cooking. I'm going to go ahead and use it because it's good for cooking too. I'm going to go ahead and add two spoons. That's one spoon. That's equal to one spoon. Let's do the second spoon. See, they still got those chunks of coconut. You should see it in the winter. It's like all hard and solid. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat up this chocolate with the coconut oil in my microwave. As much as I hate to do it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my chocolate for 30 seconds. My mom's gonna 
when she sees this video because I'm doing exactly what she told me not to do. Use the microwave and use that top. to do it for this video I won't be doing this no more mommy I like the smell of that coconut oil though I'll tell you that oh look at that it's nice and smooth man that worked like wonders I like that chocolate looks nice and rich and there I was thinking that I'm probably gonna have to put it inside the microwave for another 30 seconds this is good I like this this right here this is exactly what I need Oh, child. Yes, this is perfect. Guys, forgive me for my excitement. This is the first time I'm trying this. We try new things on Lady Opulent these days. Because of the lockdown, we get to experiment different things. Okay, I like that. I like how it's, it looks nice and rich and as thick as I want it. All right, now let me go and get those strawberries so I can dip them into this chocolate. All right, you guys, so this is the few strawberries I'm going to be playing around with making these chocolate covered strawberries. I've already dried them up. I use my paper towels and honestly, a part of me feels like I may have just been squishing them too tightly because some of them right now kind of don't look as good as they were. Let's go ahead and start dipping them like so. Oh! Oh, I like that. Let's do that again. Let's do it again. A double dip. That's what I'm gonna call this one. My friend, let's do a triple dip. How's about that? Yes, I love it. Oh, that looks so good to me right now. And you may be wondering why am I making these chocolate covered strawberries? Is there a special occasion? Because they're quite popular for valentine's day or anniversaries is it your birthday is it her birthday what's the occasion and my answer is no it's not a special occasion of any kind i'm just spoiling myself this one valentine's day i was so mad you guys because i couldn't find these i was still in atlanta at that time i went to different bakeries and candy stores and nobody had them because, duh, it was Valentine's Day. They were sold out. So I didn't get to eat them that Valentine's Day. And I, I'm, now I'm thinking to myself, if only I knew how to make them back then. Because this is really simple. It really is. You only need, what, three different ingredients? And that's it. Chocolate, coconut oil, or olive oil, and strawberries. And then they're really expensive, too. If you go to those upscale candy stores... They don't play with the pricing, more especially when it's around that time of the year, Valentine's Day. Strawberry number three, as you can see. I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out great. I hope it does. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering why I got a scar in my hand. This right here is evidence that there is a God. I was in a car accident that almost costed me my life. God saved my life that day, and I do not forget that day. Anyways, I'm not trying to be deep spiritual with you. I'm just sharing my testimony that there is a living God, and he's a protector. Oh, so this is what I wanted to say. When I was saying that my mom is going to have a fit when she sees me using the microwave, my mom, when she finds out new stuff, she likes to share that information with me. There was a time when she found out that you know, the microwave is bad for you, it can cause cancer and things like that. It was just bombarding me with that information. She would just email me or send it to me on WhatsApp. She would tell me over the phone when we were talking, microwave is not good. Make sure you get rid of that plastic cover that you have for your microwave. Mommy, I'm not making fun of you. If you're watching, this is nothing against you. I'm just explaining to my viewers why I had made that statement on how you're going to get mad when you see me put my chocolate in the microwave because you definitely anti-microwave and I'm like that too. 
I just couldn't figure out how I was gonna get this chocolate melted without putting it in the microwave you guys so I still have quite some chocolate over there left over and I'm starting to have ideas on how to use it because I do not like wasting food I just remembered that I have apples in my refrigerator I still have oranges so I'm gonna make chocolate cover orange and the chocolate cover apple to use up this chocolate I'm getting a bit more and more creative here at Lady O my dad has this famous saying waste not want not all right ladies and gentlemen these are the finished still need to be refrigerated chocolate cover strawberries by Lady O oh, I'm so glad I finally got to do this you guys you have no idea I'm relieved I'm happy about what I see and this is the final product of the chocolate covered strawberries believe it or not I'm not really into sweets like that so I'm just gonna try one or two of these with you I'm impressed I gotta tell you this is my first time trying to make chocolate covered strawberries and I feel like they turned out good so far they look good so I'm gonna taste one or two with you guys and let you know how I feel. That is good you guys, this is good. And this is really good. Smash the like button. Thank you for watching. Until next time. I can't be in it. Bye for now.